Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, it's 28 degrees out right now. And in the last five minutes, we've had snow, switched over to hail, and now it's raining out. <laughs> I think today is gonna be one interesting day. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the weather. If the video doesn't go up on time, we probably lost power. <laughs> <sighs> calling for freezing rain, heavy wet snow, and just a whole bunch of odd weather. Might as well finish up the winter like this. I'm gonna have to do some sledding again today. That was a blast the last few days, guys. Not sure if the goats are gonna like this weather. Got some good breakfast, eating your greens. You're a noisy eater there, Blossom. Yeah. You're noisy. You noisy girl. Dump that out and give them some fresh water. Oh, I forgot to bring down the seaweed again this morning, man. Hopefully we don't get too much rain today, girls. We don't want you getting too wet. We know you're divas. Look how deep that snow is. It's up above the sliding glass door. <sighs> it's hard this time of the year when it starts getting nice out. And then you get some snow or rain or freezing rain. It's like, oh man, I thought we were done with this stuff. Ugh. I know it's only February, guys. Actually, it's pretty close to being March. I'm excited for springtime. It's gonna be good. <laughs> what do you think, Pluto? You ready for some green grass? Good morning, girls. Look at all them eggs. Wow! Five eggs already this morning. Man, that's awesome. This is what you call a whitewashing. You girls enjoying pecking up that snow? I still can't get over this. It's 7 30 in the morning and we got five eggs. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I know what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I have to go inside and fry up some eggs and cook some hash browns. I know, I'm always talking about food. I'm sorry, but it's one of the big reasons we do homesteading, is to grow and raise the best food possible that we can. The flavors you can get with raising food in your backyard, it's just amazing. <sighs> I'm hungry myself. We still need to feed the chickens in the winter greenhouse. And I have something good to show you. I think you're gonna like it. <sighs> I owe you guys an apology. This was terrible. I think you'll be happy with it now. Are you ready for this? 
Good morning. <laughs> ah, we cleaned up their nesting boxes and put some fresh hay in there for them. What do you think of the chickens? Huh? What do you think of those guys? I added some fresh hay out here yesterday and I'm actually surprised they haven't pecked through the flakes and spread it out better. What do you think, Tan Man? Come on out. There you go. That's one of the hard things with our winters up here is trying to keep the chicken coops clean and the nesting boxes clean. Once everything gets frozen, oh, you can't clean it out for a while. I was ashamed at how bad those nesting boxes had gotten. But luckily yesterday I was able to get in there and clean them out. You ready to come in? Oh, you're gonna smush it up? I got gotcha. you. This is supposed to be for dad's birthday cake. But he thinks he needs to be involved. It might be difficult, he said. No, I want to be involved. It's gonna be a fun cake to make. It's not your normal he birthday wants to, cake. He wants to be able to eat it. Probably what he's really thinking. Well, make sure it comes out delicious. <laughs> All right, so we need to separate 10 egg whites and we need to keep seven yolks. Oh, okay. So Egg whites. Egg, 10 egg whites. All the, all these eggs can get put in there. Let me the give whites. you a shell. And then we need to keep seven of the egg yolks. Can you handle it? Yeah. I'll let Olivia do this. It's Olivia's favorite job is yeah, breaking the eggs. Yeah, separated them? I taught her. You did? When did you have to separate them? What were we making, Olivia's? I don't remember. Is it for the egg noodles? <gasps> You're good. Oh, don't get to save that. Yo. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get all the egg whites out first. You don't gotta get it all. What's the trick? I gotta try okay, it. Ready? Not right no, now. No, I'm gonna show I'm you. Gonna, I'm gonna watch you. Okay, ready? Okay. So you break, break the egg in half. Do I have to make that face you made? No, you just go. So you break a little piece. You hold it up like this so that you don't get the yolk in. Oh. Mm. How do you not get the shell? Because the shell just stays. Yeah, be good like Libby's. Ah! Mom, stop! You made me mess up. Look, now the yolk's coming That's out. That's good. Can I try? Don't mess up. Yeah. Olivia's watching you. Right, you have to your bigger side. This is my bigger side. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get a shell in here. <laughs> Oh, we can take shells out. Oh, I don't want, she didn't get no shell. Book yeah. a snot. Yeah, wait, no, hold this this way, and then just put that one in there. 
Oh, oh, oh. I see. Oh, okay. Oh. Back and forth. There Back you go. Forth. That's good. Oh, did I get a shower? No. Mm -hmm. I can wait and learn this stuff ever. If I had something that said white egg whites, I just wouldn't do the recipe. You wouldn't. <laughs> see, that's why I had to help you make the cake. <laughs> you don't want mom taking over? No. She wants to let her. Ah! You got it. <laughs> I can't. Take a different eggshell. Okay. Ah. Just grab a different egg. Wasn't that smart? That was smart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Just... I wouldn't think of that. I didn't turn out very well. It's okay. I pour a little bit out and then I go like this. That's good. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my head, chest on my head. Sound of voices and of drums. I will show you how the West was won. One hour later, we left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees, and it was so damn. Now you can dump in your bright orange egg yolks. <laughs> so my new car bought a diamond ring. Bought a cheap car. Adding in a half teaspoon of cream of tartar is supposed to help stiffen the egg whites up and be like the secret ingredient, making a nice stiff meringue. When I get my time in, we left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. How is that smell? Oh, good, huh? Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. That's how I feel about things too, Olivia. You want me to do it again? You make everything look so easy. You say, I'm like, you. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees, and it was too damn loud. I will stand on your border, and I'll search to the clouds. That looks delicious. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Oh. You don't need any help. Maybe I take the bowl. Oh, yep. that side slid off nicely. I'm gonna try it. I can't. Okay, try it. Can I make that? No. That's yummy. Is it good? It smells like coconut. It smells like coconut. It's made about a third of it in here. For starters. Mm. 
Wow, that's like so thick. Eerie. Eerie, and I don't know. Looks so fake. It's just yeah, egg yes. whites, vanilla, cream of tartar, and sugar. And I can't believe that's how white it comes out. It smells so good mixed in with that flour mixture. It does. Mm -hmm. Oh, this just smells good. Yeah, it does. Oh, that was going to be right in the face. That looks so pretty, though. <laughs> oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that sponge cake. How is it? It's good. That's good. I think it's a good thing we put the pan under here because, boom, that would have made a mess in the old stove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll flip it over. I want it cool off for an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to mash it. That's what I said. What I said. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ooh, it's, it's nice warm. and spongy. Yeah, it's like warm. Mhm. Mm oh. Hmm. We might need the egg basket today. I'm curious to see how many eggs we get from the winter greenhouse. <laughs> Afternoon, girls and guys. I see a few. Ooh, we got two here. None there. There, there, nope. And then I see three. One, two, three. A total of five. Awesome. Oh, it doesn't know if it wants the rain or not. It was about downpouring there for two seconds and now it stopped again. <sighs> Had to go inside and get my raincoat. Oh, let's, ooh, let's see what we got in here. Boom. Ah, they laid them all this morning, I guess. So two. It's getting windy. We ended up collecting a dozen eggs today. I'm happy with that. Sinking in the snow pretty good. Ooh, ooh. The goats are staying in because of the rain. Let's make sure they got enough hay. that there. Oh, you getting wet? It's raining. You got plenty of hay. Oh yeah, you got plenty of hay. You just don't want to be out in the rain, huh? Yeah. Goats cannot stand rain. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I better not forget the eggs. That uh, would not have been good. You ready to go in, Pluto? Come on, let's go. Hear all that rain? 
Yeah, I'm glad I'm not out selling. Right, I'm glad I'm all done with the egg collection. I'm gonna add in. Get wet? Not really. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon lemon juice, and this is supposed to help make the red brighter. Oh, really? Yep. And then. Is that the whole purpose of it? Yep. Half a cup of sugar. If you wanna stir, I'll just keep. Listen to that rain. I put the mixing bowl in the whip in the freezer to get it all nice and cold. Set our part undone. Ah, ooh, that's gonna be a pretty cake. That'll come the fun part. We're gonna try to cut this evenly. Oh, Boom. Sponge cake donut. Do not break it. <laughs> Probably let it sit after we cut the layers for a little while. Seriously? It's still warm. It'll melt the whipped cream. I think we're better off. Look okay. Up. That came out so good. It's the pineapple. Look at it. It's the pineapple. It's we did a good job. That lemon juice sure did make them strawberries nice yeah. and red. So tell me when. Well, you gotta get it all over the cake. Precious. That thing is so beautiful. It makes me hungry. 
Can you even hear yeah. Mark? Yeah, let's go. I'm drooling. I'm so high. Okay, look at the camera when we do it too. Ready? <laughs> Alright, I'll actually touch the. Ooh. Yeah, that's your key. Okay. 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 This has to be our supper because that is huge. <laughs> this is gotta be our dinner. Sunday fun day. Ready? Yeah. It's not gonna, yeah, I just gonna say it's not gonna stay standing up. Oh, it looks so good. There's some cake in there. Hey, are you supposed to cut, cut your own cake? No, oh, I am. <laughs> yeah, you are supposed to cut your own cake. You're not supposed to get the first piece. Oh, look at that thing. That's pretty. It looks so yummy. Good birthday cake. Mm -hmm. The cake itself is nice and spongy. So what's it called? The chaffron cake? Mm -hmm. So it's like a sponge cake, but there's something a little bit different. But it's got the texture like a sponge cake. Mm. So good. So that was a fun cake to make and it tastes even better. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Justin Rhodes, when he was out doing his Great American Farm Tour, he stopped over and he stayed at our place for one night and hung out for two days. And his Great American Farm Tour movie just made it on Amazon Prime. So I'm going to put a link in the description down below if you click on that. If you have Amazon Prime, you can watch the movie and see us in it on the big screen TV. Kind of crazy. I just want to take a moment and remind us all... Our uniqueness makes us who we are, so we need to let it shine. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We truly appreciate that you're here, and I know if you're here at the end of the video, you're one of the ones who watches daily and watches the videos all the way through. So thank you very much, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.